Today we're going to talk about inverters and the goal of today's training is to show you how to test the output of an inverter. When we talk about inverters, they are limited that this particular model can do 1500 watts and you got to understand what a watt is and how that it equates to what power a driver has. One of the biggest misconceptions is they think this is 110 so they have all the power they do at home and that is not the case. You are very limited what this thing can power. You may have to turn certain loads off and on, you know, so you don't overload the system. One of the common complaints we will get is the driver complains the inverter shutting off. He says, well, I just turned on my microwave and the inverter shut off. Most of the time that's because the load is too high. We say the load is too high, this can support that 1500, but if his microwave is pulling 1600 or 1700, well, it's going to shut down and protect itself. When we mention microwaves, that's one of the most common ones we have problems with. The reason why is microwaves are all sold by cooking wattage. So let's say it's a 700 watt microwave, well that is what the cooking wattage is. It may have to pull 1400, 1500, whatever, in order to make that 700 watts of cooking power. So a lot of times people you know, think, well no, it's plenty small and I should have no problem, when it's actually pulling a lot more than they realize it is. We want to make sure that whatever our total load is, it is less than that 1500. We have everything connected, so we're going to turn our inverter on. You'll hear the microwave power up and chirp. You'll see we got a display here telling us what the voltage is. If I move over on my buttons to the third one, it'll turn it to watts and it'll show you exactly what the microwave is pulling. So I can simply one touch here and press start. And it'll display exactly how many watts that microwave is pulling right now. The reason why this is very important is, one, we want to be able to make sure we can troubleshoot the system if they ever have a problem with the inverter. You know, is it something wrong with the inverter, or is it the loads that are being plugged into it? The other reason it's important is, we got to be able to supply that power and educate people of why some things will work, some things won't work, and also that at times we need to understand that it's not one device that causes problem, it may be the accumulated total of several devices plugged in at one time. And with this, we can very easily look and see exactly what those loads are.